good people. As we end 2018, Rita Talk Show, let's talk letting go. Even the topic, just let it go. And we are doing it with my friend, beautiful soul, amazing human being, just a lovely human being, lovely soul, my friend Farid. Thank you, thank you Rita thank for you, having you. me. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be here oh. and uh, it's very, very special mm. given that the topic itself, it is very, as much as it is easier said than done, mm. but it's also very special and profound to mm. me and I, I couldn't be grateful, oh. more grateful than having it at this special month yeah. when we're just about to close the year and we're about to let go. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's, it's beautiful. And thank you for having me in oh, this thank show. Thank you so much. You. So um, everyone who knows me knows that I love you so much <laughs> <laughs> and knows that we are, we are friends. I think the thing about us, it's the souls. Yes. And we normally talk about these the, these big possibilities and the power of the universe. Yes. And, you know. So uh, please tell uh, us about you. So my name is Farin, as she's introduced mm -hmm. you. Um, I work with the digital agency AIM Group. We work together mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's the best thing that has <laughs> happened to us. Yeah. Because um, I think through you I got to know more about myself, which oh. I'm sincerely grateful for. And um, so I'm a divorcee and uh, I work as an executive assistant with, at AIM Group mm. and uh, not married again <laughs> yet, <laughs> but yes, um, I'm single mm. and uh, well, the reason why I'd like to talk about letting go today mm -hmm. is, uh, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm a divorcee and uh, it was very, at, when, 2015 was a very challenging year, as I would say. Had it been back then, I would define it as a horrible year. <laughs> yeah. Because I did not understand at that point the true meaning of letting go. Mm. But as time went by and as I understood uh, the beauty of life mm. and, and the beauty of this universe mm. and how you silence your mind and let go is when you truly grow. Yeah. I love that. So when you silence your mind, you truly you let, let go. go. Oh. Because that is when I believe, in my opinion, that you listen to who you really are. And that is when you get your true identity. The world is, it's constantly running a race. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're running a race that we're not, we, we have no idea of. Yeah. Because we don't know who we are. And when we silence, when we just give ourselves the time and, and analyze the things that we, that hold us back mm. and move us forward. And when we silence, when we let go of the things holding back, we truly grow. Wow. Yes. So I would like to talk a bit of uh, my most vulnerable time was when I separated. At that point, it was as much as it was very difficult and it was very, very, um, it was like a tornado of understanding what was going on. Yeah. It was very hard to let go. And as I kept holding on to the things, to the bitterness, mm. asking why, why me, mm. why this, why that, why not, what if, I was only merely holding myself from moving on, mm -hmm. for being the better version that I could be. Mm -hmm. But then again, there came a point that I couldn't hold on to that more. I couldn't mm. hold on uh, a bit longer because I realized that there was nothing good that was coming out. Yeah. There was nothing good that was coming out by holding on to things that were irrelevant, that were mm. hurtful. When I say hurtful, that means being angry with yourself, being mm. angry on others, holding grudges and not being patient mm -hmm. or understanding that everything happens for a good reason. Yeah. But when I decided to let go, you know they say that you never leave where you are unless you decide where you'd rather be. Wow, you never leave where you are unless, unless you, you decide, decide where you'd, where rather, you'd rather, be. rather be. As mm. much as it was scary, I decided to let go. And my letting go was forgiving myself 
for whatever that transpired, hmm. forgiving others for putting me through that and yeah. for putting themselves through that uh, because I realized that maybe I was just focusing and being selfish that it's all about me. Yeah. Maybe I forgot how to empathize. Hmm. But when I truly let go and forgave everything that happened and accepted life hmm. as it was, that was my turning point of letting go and that is when life happened. Wow. So if I'm getting this right, letting go goes hand in hand with vulnerability yes. and forgiveness. And forgiveness. Uh, it is very important to forgive because it's especially to the ones who you think they hurt you or they may have. Mm. It is very important because we have to understand like as much as we'd want them to do things you know in the way we'd want mm. but we would not also want th them doing things the way they would want us to do so it is very very important and profound to forgive yeah for as long as you you cannot forgive you'll never move on you may say i've let go of the past mm. but forgiveness is what you forgiveness to me it's like that lock Mm. You are imprisoned in your past and that forgiveness is you opening doors and letting yourself free. Wow. That is as much as it is scary, it is risky, but they say, but and I truly believe that when you risk things that mm. are uncomfortable to you is when you actually find yourself mm. and that is exactly what I did. As much as it was difficult, I didn't know where I'd go. Yeah. I, there were questions I'd ask myself that what if people think that I'm I'm silly to forgive people hmm. but then it wasn't about them it was about me I wanted to be the better version hmm. that today even if I were to bump into people hmm. even if I were to bump into the same circumstances hmm. I would welcome it with joy and yeah. pride and you knowing embrace that it. embrace it yes and, and that everything happens for a good reason hmm. So it is very, very important to me to forgive because that is the only way you truly let go. Mm. You know, you've said something that has really resonated with me. You've said you had to forgive yourself. Yes. Because most times we focus on forgiving others. others. But it's only when we can forgive ourselves that we can forgive others. But yes. how do I forgive myself? Well, you know, to forgive yourself is to allow you're being vulnerable you i believe charity begins from home mm -hmm. so you cannot help others be, without helping yourself first yeah. and it is very difficult for people to forgive themselves mm -hmm. because they feel like they don't deserve it but i feel it is very important to forgive yourself first mm. and by doing so, you're allowing yourself that, yes, I did a mistake, yeah. but no, that is not who I am. So I forgive myself, and by forgiving yourself, it also means that you will not go back there again. Yeah. Because if you do not forgive yourself, you're most likely to fall back in that trap. But when you truly forgive yourself, you know that, okay, this is now done. Mm. So if life puts you in a similar position, you know exactly how to go about yeah. because you have that clarity. And that clarity comes from within. Wow. Yes. And you regain your power. You absolutely do. And you become more aware of everything that's around you. Mm. And, and that everything happens for a reason and you just have to accept yeah. as is and let go of what you cannot control. Mm. So forgiveness is the beginning of letting go. Letting go, absolutely, yes. Oh my God, this is deep. I'm so glad we are doing this together. Me too. Um, um, 2018, here we are, and we talk about living in the present moment. Absolutely. And that allows us to let go. Yes. What advice do you have for people? as we are ending the year? I would advise that don't have resolutions for the upcoming year mm. because that consumes a lot of your time. Just fretting about things, you don't even know what will come mm -hmm. ahead. Mm -hmm. Be open to whatever life gives you, whether they're challenges, mm -hmm. whether they're good times, mm -hmm. or whatever it is, accept it with an open heart, mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, 
you're letting go of everything that held you back in 2018. So be open, be open to whatever life gives you, mm. embrace it and let go. Let go of things you think you cannot control, mm. let it go. There'll be a time for that too. Mm -hmm. So my advice would be just live. Be very present in that moment because that is one thing that will never come back. Wow. And as you are in that day, live it fully. Whether it's in the midst of a challenge mm. or in the midst of peace, live it. Live it, learn from it, and love it. One day at a time. One day at a time. And I think something that really hurts uh, many people, you've said it right, uh, that we set expectations. Yes. Of course, planning is good, yes. but we set expectations and we hold ourselves accountable but we imprison ourselves yes. in a way that that even brings more challenges more challenges so we don't let we control situations yes and i believe i i feel the main challenge is everyone wants to live in a certain way hmm. but then in order to do so you have to accept and understand that not everything will come to you the way you want or mm. when you want. Mm. And there is a reason, maybe because you're not ready for it. Mm. So have the idea of the life that you want. But don't focus so much on it so much so that you forget to give it your best in that one day. Mm. Because giving your best in that one day will determine your life thereafter. So whether, for example, if there is a certain body goal that you want, mm. have what you want in your mind. But then don't, you don't hold on, you let it go. It's there, it's there. While you're at it, give it your best in that day that you've been blessed with. Mm. Live it fully, be mindful of whatever you do, mm -hmm. and just let it go. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Be mindful be and mindful. present. Yes, yes. And aware. And aware, and aware. So, um, as you know, I am a mother. And I really like to bring this up because sometimes we take our failures and our eagerness and we put it on our children. So everything we failed to achieve, we force on them. As we are ending the year, what advice do you have for us as parents when it comes to pushing our kids into fixed mindset? Well, first of all, um, I'm, thank you for bringing up this. Mm. It's a very good question. And um, when you said failures, mm. I don't believe there's such thing as failures. Mm. It's only lessons. The minute you understand the concept of life is about learning. Mm. It's learning one day at a time, learning every day, learning for the entire time you mm. live here. It is very important, as I mentioned before, to forgive yourself. Yeah. Because there's no such thing as failures. And when it comes to imposing the same on the children, mm. I believe, as for parents especially, is to identify what is that you're holding on, that you have no control of, and that you've not forgiven yourself for, that is reflecting on, on your children. You must understand your children are on a different journey. They are who they are. And they have every right to be who they are. Yeah. And you, as a parent, you are who you are. There is only much you can control. Mm -hmm. So for the things that you can control that are ideal, go for it. But there are things that you cannot control, don't force it. Because the more you force, the more you imprison yourself yeah. and your child. Yeah. And that is not a solution. Yeah. You must let go. So what if you could not achieve what you wanted? Uh -huh. But that doesn't mean that's, that's your dream. Yeah. It didn't happen at the time you want, but you have to let it go because there is going to be a time where it may happen, mm. it will happen. It's how much you want it. And you can only have it by forgiving yourself. Yes. But that does not mean that that dream should be imposed on your children. Mm. You have to let that go. You have to accept that they are their own individuals. Mm. They are not you. They, they, may, they may be a reflection of mm -hmm. who you are, but they're not you. Yeah. You're so, right. my advice to parents is don't impose anything on your children. Mm. We are all here, we're born to be wild. When I say wild, it means you're born to be yourself. Mm. And that's the most wildest and bewilderness thing that you can do to mm. yourself. 
So why imprison others mm. when you are born to be free, when we're all born to be free? Yeah. And being free is when you, you get the best version of you, when you discover the best version of mm. yourself. So again, I go back to my advice is, let it be, yeah. let it go. Your, din your dreams didn't come to, let it go. Yeah. Maybe they wouldn't have brought the best version of you. Yeah, you're right. Let, let, let yourself be and let others be the way they are around you. And that will exude happiness, mm. peace mm. and profanity. So I, I, that would be my advice to all the parents out there. No, I love the way you say peace, peace uh, yes. happiness. Isn't that the main goal it of is, life? It is. Mm. And while you're at it, the most important thing is love. When you, everything begins from love. Mm. You have to love yourself. And when you love yourself, when you love something, you accept it as it is. Yes. So why not accept yourself as who you are today? Mm. Yes, I could not be a certain way, but I still love myself. Yeah. And when you love yourself, you exude that to others around you, whether it's your children, your family, your mm. friends, your co-workers, whatever it is. And that is the only way you're opening the possibilities of bringing in new things. Yes. So it is important that you love yourself, you forgive yourself, mm. because forgiveness also comes out of love. You're right. Yes. You're right. So it is important, love yourself, forgive yourself, and let it go. So society, I think, has found a way to determine what people can do, what can people can't do. Uh, timelines. This time around you must be married, this you have finished university, this you have kids, this. So people end up being in imprisonment of these timelines that are only hurting people. And um, so I know it is only wise to say now, I'm letting go of the control. But where do we start? So the first thing is to start by analyzing. Mm. You know, it is important to analyze uh, from within. Mm. That what are, based on the timelines, what is it that brings you peace from within? Mm. If it does bring you peace from within, you go for it. Yeah. You, you stick by it. Mm. But there are things that you feel that's not you, let them go. Yeah. Not everyone has to be married, not everyone has to have kids, mm. because you are your own individual personality. Mm. Shine for the way you've meant to be. Yes, the society will impose everything that it wants mm. for you. Mm -hmm. Question is, ask yourself, is that what I really want? And to that, what I would say is, my advice would mm -hmm. be, don't betray yourself. Just because the society wants you to be in a certain way, mm. the stereotypical way, do not betray yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-betrayal is one of the most, most negative way that will keep you from growing. Yeah. That will keep you from forgiving yourself. Mm. That will keep you from living, mm. loving and accepting life. Mm. So do what makes you feel right from within mm -hmm. and let go of what's not. Yeah. It's your life, you live once. While you're living, mm. the best thing that you can do is be true to yourself. Wow. And as I say, is that is something that I did personally. Mm. Yes, there, it's been it's been um, three years to my separation. Yeah, my fa forget about my friends, my family. Inquire. Oh, so mm. when's next? What's <laughs> happening next? But then, yeah, I don't have a timeline. Mm. I've let that go. I'm open to the idea of it. Yeah, it doesn't scare me just because first time around it didn't go through mm -hmm. and I'm grateful for that because it was not meant to go through. Yeah. But I do not set myself on a timeline because for me a timeline is as good as a time bomb. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be around a time bomb, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. So I've let that go mm -hmm. but while I have, I'm, I am being true to myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are people that I may not um, may not feel comfortable with mm. uh, not that doesn't mean that they're bad mm. it just means that i'm being true to myself yeah. i have what i i know what i want i know who i am mm. so i'm not going to betray myself wow and that is when i realized that it brought the best out of me mm -hmm. as much as it is scary to speak up in today's society it is the best thing that you can do for yourself because remember this is your journey yeah 
You're nobody right. can walk it for you it is you yourself yeah so make sure you you choose a path that you can walk upon don't choose a path with 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 stones that you cannot deal with mm. in your heels don't mm. <laughs> so choose the path that's right for you yeah. that's going to bring the best out of you mm. and when when it brings the best out of you mm. it's going to help others too to bring the best out of them mm. so do what makes you feel right from within that's nice thank you so much thank you brilliant advice to start 2019 thank you. let it go let it go uh. Don't be harsh. No okay. timelines. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah. Yes. One day at a time. One I day love at that. a time. Mm. One day at a time. Yes. Tanzania, all the good people out there. I hope Meskia, uh, Farin is telling us to let go and as we are ending the year we are asking you to let go so that we start 2019 fresh and new. One day mm. at a time. That's all it takes. Thank you and mm. Remember to subscribe, Rita Tarimo, that's the talk show, uh, Instagram Rita Tarimo, Facebook Rita Tarimo. Please subscribe, leave the questions, I'll ask Farin to make time to respond. Happy New Year! <laughs>